and welcome to a quick lesson on how to find the area of circles. Usually, when we find the area of different shapes, we measure their side lengths. Circles, however, have no side lengths. So how do we take their measurements? Luckily for us, all circles do have two simple measurements we can always take. The first measurement goes from one side of the circle across its center to the other side. This measurement is called diameter. The second measurement that all circles have goes from one side of the circle straight to the circle center. This measurement is called the circle's radius. It's important to point out that these two measurements are related to each other. The diameter of a circle is twice as long as its radius, and the radius of a circle is half its diameter. How do we use those measurements to find the area of a circle, though? Easy. The formula to find the area of any circle is always the same. Area equals pi times r squared. The value of pi is almost always constant at 3.14. This makes it very easy to memorize. The r in our formula stands for radius, and the radius of each circle will change in every math problem we'll see. Let's do an example to see this formula in action. Let's say we have a circle with a radius of 6.5. First, let's write out our formula. Next, let's color code. Once we've color coded, it's time to start plugging in some values. The value of pi will always be 3.14, so I can plug that in. And the value of r, or radius, for this example is 6.5. So I can go ahead and plug that in as well. I always like to rewrite any number squared as that number times itself, just to make sure that I don't make a simple mistake. So let me make sure to rewrite 6.5 squared as 6.5 times 6.5. Now, all I have to do is multiply straight across. 3.14 times 6.5 times 6.5 is 132.665. Easy. Now, let's try just one more example. In this problem, I've been given this circle to try and find the area of. The first thing that I noticed, though, is that they haven't given me a radius for this circle. The measurement they've given me goes from one side of the circle all the way to the other. So instead of the radius, they've given me the diameter. The only issue is that when we look at our formula for finding the area of a circle, it has an r, not a d. Well then, how do we use my given diameter of 12 to find the circle's radius? Remember earlier when we said that the diameter divided by 2 equals the radius? Well then, it makes sense that my diameter of 12 divided by 2 equals my radius of 6. Now I can solve for the circle's area. I start by color coding my formula, of course, then I start plugging numbers in. Pi will always be 3.14, and the radius in this particular problem is 6. Now I'll go ahead and rewrite 6 squared as 6 times 6 to avoid any confusion. Now, all I have to do is multiply straight across. 3.14 times 6 times 6 equals 113.04. Boom. That's it. That's how easy it is to find the area of a circle. I hope this brief lesson helped you.